How's it going guys? Over the past weekend, my girlfriend and I have been up in New York City for our anniversary. And about two days before our trip, I learned that they were opening a brand new Lego store on Fifth Avenue. And this store was supposed to be insane. Like I was looking at the videos and the pictures and everything from like beyond the brick and it looked crazy. So of course we had to go and we did. Before I show you any footage from that, which I'm about to, uh, there was a lot of luck on our side because we were coming from Grand Central and walking over to our hotel and on the way was the Lego store. So we swung by and I was like, you know what, even if we don't get in there right now, I just want to take a look and see what the line's like because it's been open for one day. Like this was the day after the grand opening and there was maybe 10 people out outside at 11.06. So the store had been open for literally six minutes and we walked up, got in line, we were outside for maybe three minutes. It was insane how fast we got into the store. And we got in there, I'm gonna show you everything in just a second. We got in and we also were able to do the minifig factory, which I know that they do have at other Lego stores. I know they have it in uh, Disney Springs where you can make your own uh, Lego minifigure with like a custom torso and they print it in the store and everything. You get your own custom uh, brick that we do in this. They apparently require a reservation for that. And when we asked about it, they were like, I think we have an opening if you wanna just do it. Insane, like it's crazy how lucky we got. And I'm in a couple Lego groups on Facebook and stuff. And a lot of people were saying like, yeah, I went on Sunday and I was in line for like three hours. I don't know how we got into the store at all, but it was a great experience. And I'm gonna show it to you right now. How's it going guys? Today we are at the new Lego store that just opened yesterday. So your guess was a little low. That is so cool. I didn't even see Batman up there. <laughs> oh, and the, oh my god. Doing the uh, make your own minifigure. Oh, I've been burdened with the curse of decision. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh no, too many decisions. Oh no, give me another one. So. I might go simpler than that. I might actually, here's what I might do. It's June. I might go with a pride shirt. Nice. And then, you know what? If I go over here and on the back. Okay. 2021. Uh, red. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Too many decisions. Oh, so. Put a sticker on the front. Let's do a. Uh, over there. How's that look? Very good. And then I think I can, uh, I do the uh, hair and leg pants. <laughs> leg pants! <laughs> Everything <laughs> over there. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Hell yeah. And that's how you do it? It's cool, they actually print them in the store for you to see. They do it right in front of you. There's mine right there. There's Sam's right there. And then the next thing you can do, those are good for you. Shut up. You can come over here and you can get the legs, heads, and uh, hair pieces. Got my little guy. 
gave him a chicken on the back. <laughs> you can see the it says New York on the uh, brick as well, and then I have that on the back of my uh, torso. Uh, and then Sam's got hers right there. You can see she got the floaty, she got the apple on the front of the shirt, and you turn it around. And she put one year on there because we are in New York for our one year anniversary. I did not put that on there because I did mine first and I didn't think of it. So bad boyfriend of the year award goes to me, but she put that on there, which is very cute. And we're not doing it, but you can do this uh, photo booth to make your own mosaic, like the uh, Lego art sets. You can do that online, but they actually have one in store for you to do as well. That's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoy it, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.